Hey everybody, Patty Ann here again, and I'm going to show you the second video in my little series of how to use Silhouette Design Edition for our Cricut machines. This time you are absolutely going to love this and I'm telling you, you're going to want to go get that software. And do be sure to use my link I have down below because uh, it is a lot cheaper than going to the Silhouette store and I get a little tiny commission when you use it uh, at no extra charge to you. Also, I have other affiliate links down below and I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also join us over on Facebook in our groups. And uh, okay, so let's just get started. So on my screen today, I have open to silhouette uh, studio business edition. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the text tool in this. So what I'm going to do is just come over here to the text tool on the left, click on it. And I've already selected the font that I'm going to use up here. The font I'm going to use is Alex Brush. It happens to be something that I have on my computer and you probably do too if you have a Windows machine. So I'm just going to type in the name of the text, Alex Brush. Okay, I'm going to click off of it and then click back on so I get the little boxers around it and then I can stretch it to make it larger. So you may already be noticing something right off the bat, the difference between uh, what we can do in design space and what we can do in the silhouette um, software for our machines. But in case you don't notice, let me go over to Cricut and do the same thing over here. I have Alex Brush selected up here at the top and I'm going to come to the text tool and I'm going to type in Alex Brush. A-L-E-X. Oops, I spelled it wrong, sorry. Okay, and there's Alex Brush there. So what do you notice right off the bat, this difference between these two texts? Here's the one in Cricut Design Space, and here's the one in Silhouette. Yes, these are already touching each other, right? They come in the way they should come in. These, on the other hand, come in and I need to use the letter spacing tool to get them closer together and align them and that kind of thing. So let me show you some other things that we can do in Silhouette. While it's here, if I zoom way in on it, let me hold my control key and the plus on my keyboard, and then I need to, whoa, I went too far, but you can notice that there are little cut lines in here, right? Just like the same thing we have, look between the L and the E here. Same thing that we have in Cricut Design Space, and we actually do exactly the same thing here in um, Silhouette Studio. Just select it so the box is around it. Right click and say Weld. And that does the same thing that it did in Design Space. If I zoom in again, you'll notice whoa, that there are no longer cut marks between the L and the E. They all fit together. So let me get back out. But that's not all we can do with this text. We can also come over here to the right, and there's a star over here. And if I click on the star, let me see if I can move this in just a little bit for you so you can see. When I highlight that star, it says open the offset panel. And that's what I want to do. Open the offset panel. So let me stretch this back out. And now it's going to either put an internal offset or an outside offset. I'm going to choose the outside one and while it's chosen I'm going to come up here and change its color and I actually think I'd like it to be white so I'm just going to make it a, a white offset and I think that's really pretty so I'll apply that and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of these and group them And now I'm going to go to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive, and I'm going to save it as Alex Brush. Oops. Two, because I've already done this. 
And I got to remember to save it as an SVG file so it will work in Cricut Design Space and say OK. So let me come over to Cricut Design Space now. And let me upload and you'll see one here that I've already uploaded, but I'll upload the number two one now. So I'm going to look for Alex Brush. Here it is, Alex Brush 2. Click on it and open it. There it is. Save. This is it. Insert it. Now y'all look at this. Is this not gorgeous or what? Look at that. Let me change the background color of the canvas so you can see it really well. Isn't that cool? So these could be two different types of vinyl that I layer on top of each other. Maybe the one underneath could be flock and this could be glitter. Um, now let's hide this one for a second. And if I go to make this, how do you think it's going to turn out? Let's check. If I go to make it, okay, actually, aha, there we go. The Alex and brush in the blue part aren't going to be right, so I'm going to cancel it. And so what I would actually do is I would come over here to the layers panel and click on the blue things and hold down my shift key and then come over here to weld. And then if I want to, I could take both of the white ones and weld them as well. Now notice the white comes up and you're thinking, oh, I've ruined it. But no, that's just because when you weld something, it comes to the top layer, which means it's on top of this one. So if I move it down below that one, like that, there it is, perfect. So I just go to make it, and it'll do this out of vinyl or cardstock, and this out of hopefully, probably vinyl, because it's kind of thin, and um, I'd be done. So isn't that easy, y'all? Look at that. So beautiful, but guess what? This isn't all you can do. You can even add another one if you want. I could come over to offset again. So there it is, one extra one. And I think I will make that a different color. Maybe that. No. Yeah, sure, why not? So again, I would just um, probably go ahead and group all of this together. Right click and group. And then I would come up here to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive. And I could name it anything I want, but the the most important thing is that I remember to save it as an SVG file and then I can open it in Cricut Design Space. And guess what? This same technique isn't just useful for things like this. Well, you'll just have to keep watching to see what comes next. So remember to check out the links below, join us on Patreon, join us on our Facebook groups and um, subscribe and please comment and ask questions. It makes my day. Thank you. Bye bye.